I think we're all familiar with helium because of helium balloons and parades and such, and that's gaseous helium, but helium can also exist as a liquid at low temperature. Magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, relies upon magnets which are cooled with liquid helium as well as liquid nitrogen, and you can't get the images in MRI without these magnets, and you can't have the magnet without the liquid helium. Helium is a finite resource. We literally get it out of the ground as a byproduct of natural gas extraction. And so we're in a position now in 2020 and for some time before that, where the cost of liquid helium was going up more and more and more progressively. For a variety of reasons, we've not done a great job as a country managing that resource. In 1996, Congress enacted the Helium Privatization Act, which was a 25-year plan to unload the National Reserve. Helium was sold to private entities, enabling them to control the prices of helium. I think we need to be good stewards of the resources we do have from the earth, like helium, and we should be recycling it if we possibly can. But a little more practical basis, a little more on the point for, especially in 2020, those increasing costs made it more and more expensive for us to do research. And as the cost of that went up, it started getting to a point where things are looking untenable if they continue to rise as they absolutely have over the past three years. Money that could be better spent on hiring more students or postdocs into our labs to get good training and do good research. Uh, was literally being used to buy a reagent that we ended up blowing off into the atmosphere after we were done using it. One of the approaches, it's not the only approach, but it's an important approach, is to build equipment that will recycle this non-renewable resource. In other words, conserve what you have by capturing it, condensing it, and then putting it back into the magnet that requires it. That's an approach that we've taken by acquiring this equipment through a grant from the National Institutes of Health. Nuclear magnetic resonance uses high field magnets, about a million times the Earth's magnetic field. You can't achieve that without cooling the wires that form the magnetic field to very, very low temperatures near absolute zero. And Helium, liquid helium, is a very good uh, material to achieve that. So that's something where you need to have a continuous supply of liquid helium. In this crash that there is a superconducting magnet and also we store a liquid helium-4. That liquid helium-4 produces a temperature uh, of 4.2 Kelvin. It's a very low temperature. At that temperature, all of these thermal vibrations of inside the crystal become to be more or less frozen so we can access the quantum property of the propagation of these electrons. That's basically the goal of our studies. The system become to be closed and can work 24 hours, seven days a week continuously. In fact, this system currently is working for about two years now, continuously producing the liquid helium. The system we got is wonderfully a great collaboration between two different parts of CUNY in the Advanced Science Research Center and the City College of New York. We had quite deliberately chosen to put our NMR facilities literally right next door to each other between the CDI and ASRC buildings with just a wall separating them, letting us use one helium recycling system to be able to support a total of four NMR magnets. So this campus that we ended up getting of ASRC and CDI together in 2014 and 2015 uh, really enabled us to be able to put these very complementary instrumentations together next to each other, being able to let us use one helium recycling system to support all of them.